glory and honor under your holy name. I am called Jamir, advisor when we honor Secretary General. Especially on the day 
when my president is retiring from his active political life. We don't have a political problem. We stand for a political settlement which is acceptable, honorable, and inclusive. Coming back to the party affairs, I would like first of all to congratulate our party in Manipur State. The party functionaries as well as our five honorable members and one MP, two ministers, three MLAs and one MP have been doing very well for the last nearly two years. They have been playing the parental role of the party looking after all of us in time of need. Even today's convention, they bear the major portion of the responsibilities, particularly in financial matter. We are so grateful to them. I would like to add one more point here is about the present political situation in Manipur State, which is vulnerable and uncertain to many. As an all party, we remain where we are with all sincerity, unless otherwise we are compelled by circumstances to review, to reconsider our stand. We are sincere to the government while we take great care to protect the future interests and security of our people all the way through. I want to appeal fervently to the conscience of our party's rank and file to stand together. A party cannot survive without discipline. Party leaders should therefore always discuss party problems frankly. I repeat, party problems frankly and openly with positive thinking, without forgetting feeling of concession for one another. Do not forget that party depends on you to a great extent. You are also aware that we have our own unique in our other planet, but we are yet to open our account in that state. We look forward that we will be able to occupy a place there soon in spite of all our difficulties, because leaders like Mr. Janit Dali, who is with us here today, and two others, continue to stand with strong commitment. We are grateful to them, and I would like to assure them that their contribution towards the NPF party will not go in vain. We want everybody to understand the NPF is the party of the people, as its name indicates. Therefore, if realization is there in its true sense, I would like to invite all our old friends to come back home again. If they want to regain their rightful place in the society and in the party, therefore, there should not be any hesitation because one's future is much more important than facing temporary or harassment ones. division. No land division. We must put on record our special appreciation to the electorates of 19 PEG Assembly Constituency and 40 Pandari Assembly Constituency for withstanding all temptations and challenges during the State Assembly election in 2023. Had the election been fought on the basis of party manifesto and ideology, our party would have won a good number of seats, like the previous elections. We must admit that our party is no doubt down at the moment, but it is not out yet. And 
it will rise and shine again like a shooting star. The party has taken up a number of activities during the past four years of this tenure, but only some important decisions and events have been reproduced here for report. In conclusion, I thank all party rank and file and the NBF well wishers from all walks of life for your unflinching cooperation during the tenure 2020-2022. We beseech your support and cooperation even in the days to come. May the Lord richly bless you all. Last but not the least, I also must thank our most respected president, Dr. Sorosile Lezizu, for nurturing and leading this party from the front, spanning over five decades. I wish him good health and long life. Long live and be a thank you and good night. Sir, we will remain grateful to you. And we will always remember that you have not only guided our party, but you have shown to us any practical how to be matured. He always says maturity doesn't come from the age, but the way we think and the way we react and the way we make policy and the way we take decisions. That's where the maturity lies. There are many words which he has spoken to us which we can never forget. So we're going to miss your voice in this gathering like this in the future. Your distinctive, clear voice that always beats in our heart. So we can't, we can't think of missing you in this kind of gathering. But we will continue to pray that you will live long to give us advice as we continue this party. Three elections down the line, we were so strong. Everybody was fighting for party ticket. Though some people they were, they were winning, we had to reject them. But after two years, after three terms, fourth term and fifth term, we saw few takers. 2023, practically, we had to talk to people, we have to literally beg people to take our ticket. And today, with your support, with your prayers, we have two MLAs. Voting percentage, our friend has written 7%. Seven, seven percent. It's a single digit. According to my Google, WikiLeaks and Google, it is 1.34 percentage <coughs> voting percentage we have. So therefore, what I'm saying today is we are weak and therefore we should take all measures to strengthen this party and not divide it further. For a new term of office bearers, except one member who was not available in the station, he was away from the station, and the rest, ten of us, we held meeting, the Central Election Board meeting on for then, October 2023 at 1 p.m. in the Orenda Hotel Pohima. And we have minored it and decided and recommended as follows. Let me read out the minors. This yeah, sorry. <coughs> the election member, Mr. Zimova, convener, Anun Bayuso, member secretary, Doni Hoshiki, member, Rizzo. Pedro Sancho, member, Yamhola Women Presena, Ahino Tep, member, General Secretary, Mr. Injo Wangi, Longhumer, General Secretary, Mr. Abdul Lezichu, Press Secretary. On this day, on this day, the 20th 
the 21st of October that I accept the aims, objectives and principles of the Naga People's Front that I will remain faithful and loyal to the MPL Constitution and be subjected to the party discipline. The Lord Himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. You know, make it past president, our dear Dr. Sarvari Lizitsu, respected leaders of the legislative party, Sri Azudino, honorable ministers and MLAs from Manipur, honorable MLA and Secretary General of MPF, Sri Achandemo, honorable president, MSU, Mr. Awangu, Working President from Arunachal, Jodik Tali, and the Working President of Nagaland, my friend Mr. Prasad Lobo, Working President Samuel Rimsam, most respected Raven Mukherjee, special invites and attires, media fraternities, my most esteemed party colleagues from Nagaland, Manipur, and Aurija Pradesh. <laughs>